everyone, welcome to my Always Demo Every Science project where I'm going to show you how to make a piece of art like this using dried flowers. My name is Marie and I'm excited to show you how to do your own beautiful and sustainable piece of art you can use on your own. For my OH Demo project, I chose the category Artistic Arrangement of Horticulture because I really love arts and plants, so it's like the perfect project for me. Artistic Arrangement in Horticulture means the use of flowers and other horticulture crops in order to make arrangements, corsages, and plagues. In order to fit in this artistic category, you can use a live flowers or live plants, but artificial plants and flowers cannot be used. The data used on the present project was compiled by the following websites and sources. Professional flower arrangement companies, for example, Suncoast Flowers and Lambo Dry and Deco, as well as academic sources like papers from professionals like Say Ranta Shavarni and G. Divasri from the College of Horticulture in India, and the Horticultural Guide from the University of Missouri. The first step for this project is to gather all your materials. First material, you're going to need an art canvas where you're going to be drawing. Second material is all these leaves and flowers that are not dry yet and you can get them for your garden. These are dry leaves I got from the ground and you can use them too since they're already dry. You're going to need some paper towers you're going to be using to dry the flowers in the microwave. A palette of watercolors. You can use watercolors or you can use any type of paint. It really doesn't matter when it comes to art, but the point of it is using dried flowers in it. Glue to glue the flowers to the frame. A cup of water and some brushes. More dried flowers. And a microwave. This is all you need to do your piece and your creativity. The next step is to prepare your dried flowers. You're gonna put them all in a piece of paper towel from your kitchen. You're gonna place them separately and you're gonna open them up in order how you want them to look when they're dried. Put another piece of paper towel on top of them and press them lightly. Next, you're going to take them into the microwave and make sure you don't exceed an amount of time. You have to put 20 or 30 seconds and check on it. When the time is over, check on your flowers, dry them up, press them a little bit more, and repeat the process. Keep doing this until you think your flowers are already ready and make sure to be really careful with the amount of time and check on them constantly because you don't want to burn your microwave. Once it's ready, you're going to take them off the paper towel really carefully so they don't break. A fact about these flowers is that they're really really light and they also break really easily so you have to be really careful with them and take them off as careful as you can. Another fact about dehydrated flowers is that once you dry them up they change their natural colors to more dark colors instead. Repeat this process with any other flowers you have or you have collected from your garden. After you have your dry flowers ready, you're going to start drawing on your canvas. This is the time for your creativity. You can really draw anything as long as you find a use of the flowers for it. Another fact about dried flowers is that they represent strength, endurance, and resilience. This was the end result for me. It can really vary depending on the person, but it's gonna look really beautiful with the flowers. And there you have it, your very own dry flower frame art that can be used to give a touch of elegance to any space. This concludes to my project. I have achieved my goal to show how to mix nature and arts together. 
Let's remember that nature does not only give us the inspiration for great pieces, but also provide us with great sources. I hope you have enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.